of the Celtics, and, and this comes from people in New England, people are ready to, to crown Tatum and Brown as, as stars in this league. And, and I, for one, am, am one of them that's up there. I thought Jason Tatum had a chance this season, still does, we're, only, we're not even a weekend, to be a dark horse candidate for MVP of this league. If the Celtics are going to be a good team in the Eastern Conference, Jason Tatum is going to be the reason why. I, I'm not saying they're going to be. I'm just saying that's mm -hmm. the possibility. But it is a nightly roller coaster with these two. And yes, they're still young, but once you're all stars in this league and once you're the face of a franchise, especially a f uh, face of a franchise like Boston, you're expected co to consistently know what you're going to provide. Jason Tatum's 7 of 30 night one of the season. Tonight, 8 of 14, 18 points. That's not good enough in a game like this. Jalen Brown, yeah, he can score 46, but you can't come back and shoot 3 of 13 from the field. It is a nightly up and down. You never know what you're going to get from these guys who are great basketball players, B. Wood, but they're just never giving you the 20 points you need, 25 points on a nightly basis. Being an all-star isn't just about making the all-star game. Being an all-star is about being able to being a true all-star guy that you can that's always on the all-star team. Those guys are there because they can draw those other guys with them on a nightly basis. They can figure out ways to win. You know what? My offense isn't isn't going. You know what? I, I, I can do something else. Or you, my shot isn't falling, but in the fourth quarter, I can get it going and get us a win. Or I can be a leader, and on a night where this team doesn't have a lot of energy, I can come into halftime and get in the guy's chest and get us playing again. Those are the things that you hear about Boston. Like, they're young guys. We don't know how to lead just yet. Yeah. They don't know how to bring these guys along with them. And you just talked about both of those guys being primary jump shooters. At the end of the day, you got two guys that are all-stars. Boston has to be better than they were last year and better than how they've started out this season. And, and in fairness, I mean, Jerry, you're right about chronologically them being young players. But they've been in – this is the fifth year in the right. league for Tatum and the sixth year for Brown. And, you know, they've played and they've been on really good teams. Eastern Conference final team. You know, Baltimore. like, so it's not like they've just been in the league five years and winning 20 games. Right. Like, they've been there. So, like, in a lot of ways, I'm disappointed with the fact that they're not having more of an impact all around on the game. And even in a game like this, it felt like if the shots aren't falling for one of them, they don't, to Brendan's point – impacted in other areas because they just got they got it handed to them at home like that's your opening night right. of the regular season and you go out and lay a major egg and, and I, some teams are going to do that but not to not teams that have that kind of talent because those two guys should be good enough just because of their ability for you to be relevant in that eastern conference like I, i'm not sure that I, even if they figure that out i don't know that they're a top five team in the, in the you, and we, I don't know that they're there yet. We talked about the Hornets earlier in the show, and we talked about how when LaMelo's out there, his energy is infectious. Mm. I don't see that for Boston, and that's not an indictment on Tatum, but when Tatum's out there, I don't see that Just he just brings that swag, that pizzazz that LaMelo does. I'm not saying that Tatum, LaMelo's better than Tatum, but LaMelo gets all those guys connected from an energy yeah. standpoint. And right There's a different now, vibe out there. On the it, it really is. And for Tatum, when you watch his game, it looks like an individual workout where it's like all the moves are concise and they all make sense and they're, they're great when you look at the highlights. But if he's missing those shots, how is anybody else getting involved?